Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. It's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to Low Tone from Tone Boosters. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Additionally, if you would like to participate in the giveaway, please do follow the instruction in the video description. I would like to say to start saying giving a big thank you really to Tom Boosters to give me the possibility to review Low Tom, which is a very unique bass synthesizer. It is available on iOS, Android, but also desktop in the classical uh, format like uh, uh, VST and VST3. Um, it's um, um, here shown to you inside the iOS on an iPad Pro M1 on an iOS 16. As you can see, it is running inside the AUM, so as an AUV3 instance, but of course you can also run it in a standalone version as well if you prefer so. I have connected actually an external controller um, to the synth so that I don't have to use the internal keyboard here which is shown within the synth but it's up to you if you want to use instead the, the in this case the iPad surface sounds very rich indeed it has this uh, characteristic to play um, within the loudness domain instead of just playing within the amp domain and therefore it makes uh, um, the sound and the harmonics uh, by the program that you have selected more consistent um, and you reduce the variation of course of the harmonics played and generated based on the different keys you play on the keyboard so that is why it sounds so unique so full here you have at the top the uh, program which is selected and you can click also on the pencil here to editing you can say it's quite nice in the way that it zoom in and zoom out and the ui is amazing you have this concept here of opening up this panel and then close them down which saves a lot of space on the screen as well so quite nice well let's go to the next preset here Very rich, probably one of the best, if not the best, bass synthesizer. Really nice. It is bass, always, ni always nice, always very useful. Like this ARP OPA, really nice. Now, if you click on the program itself, you have the access to the screen where you can select the library, the category, and then the programs that you want to load. Of course, you can click on various buttons here to select, for example, the library, like in this case, the category, like in this case. I really love how it zooms in and out, but of course, some people might not like that. You can click on the name if you want to change the name. You can go up and down. You can cancel this window, close it with the selection, import, export, and also remove, So, which um, is, um, is really nice. So... Let's try some more programs. Okay, really nice. Bass guitar. You can hear that type of legato effect uh, as I'm playing a little bit quicker and trying to uh, simulate that legato effect. You can randomize here, which is nice in terms of creating new preset. The randomization function inside the synth is quite unique. The more presets and programs you create, the better it gets at actually learning 
and uh, it doesn't maximize completely the parameter. It leaves also some personalization. So it's uh, learning randomization algorithms that it uses. Of course, you can uh, uh, click undo here, which it goes back to the default preset. You can load and save. Then you have different states here, which you can uh, recall A and B as in other uh, synthesizer. You can uh, then the usual function to copy and paste, undo, um, redo. And um, here you go to uh, the effects. You can add chorus, reverb, delay. You can set the MIDI channel, you can transpose, adjust the tuning, the bits per minute, if it wasn't standalone, of course, the gliding in milliseconds, if you have legato on and off, okay, really nice. You can do master tuning here as well. You, you can go on eco mode if you need to um, save uh, um, um, CPU usage. You have your limiter here, active or not. And then, of course, for the free effects, you can adjust different parameters, like for the chorus, you can adjust the level. Speed. High pass filter, low pass filter on the reverb, you can adjust the, the level of the decay, the high pass filter, low pass filter, similar on the delay, high and low pass filter, and the level and the length. Okay, so um, really nice, really clean as an uh, interface, which I really like. Here you can change the UI, which is nice. You can um, choose the one that you prefer, which is really great. Or you can click on the name itself and choose one, which is really nice. Then you can click on the hamburger menu here. You have option to show or not the tooltips, to load and browse programs, save them, load and save default settings, which is really nice. Not many scenes um, have that. Import and export programs in XML format. Now, as you progress um, in understanding how the synth works, you will find um, free a voltage control oscillator that works in a similar way. Um, you have the ability to do hard sync and they all are hard syncs to VCO1. That is why you don't have the sync option on VCO1. Here you can uh, activate them or not. You can choose a waveform uh, here or you can click here to choose additional one. You have so many. You can go to the next one, the previous one, of course, and um, you can do stereo as well, on and off, and resetting based on the keyboard. And then you have uh, inside the panel adjustment in semitones, your tuning. Let's actually uh, recall um, the um, default patch, clicking in here. Activate stereo. Already in the loudness domain, adjust tuning. Pulse width modulation. Frequency modulation. You can have unison as well with uh, different detuning. Punch, which is the offset at the beginning of the note in semitones. Pan, panoramic, of course, left and right channel and the level. When you see a dot on the top right hand side, if you click and hold on that and let go, then you can choose um, different parameters. Like in this case, you can modulate the tune with LFO 1 or 2, or by multiplying the output of the modulation wheel with LFO 1 and 2. And you can uh, again modulate using the envelope, the gate, uh, which is here. It's like a gate sequencer, pitch bend, and also a random value, which will be generated every time you press on a key, which is really cool. So if I was to increase LFO1 here, you can hear I have now LFO1 acting on the tuning. And of course, LFO1 is up here on the top right side. So these controls apply to a VCO2 and VCO3. Then you have a voltage control noise generator. Here uh, you adjust the type of noise. 
stereo, and then yeah, you have tuning, resonance, uh, but um, you can announce this short burst as well on the noise to be generated. Let's activate it. Let's go back to the default. Activate it again. You can hear this short, but uh, short burst um, generated. You can have punching again effect, as in the VCO pan and level as well. Now let's deactivate the v voltage control noise uh, generator. If you click and hold the ear on the unison, you can adjust the number of voices that you produce and also the spread between them. Of course, you have additional um, um, modulation here on the other controls, so it's um, it's really nice in terms of, of um, uh, how the interface really work. In this case, on the punch, you can adjust the timing. And you can hear there is a different timing being applied. Again, click and hold here, normal modulation, click and hold here again on the level. And again, you have also modulation based on velocity, which is really nice. So uh, the modulation parameters uh, sometimes are also additional um, settings for uh, the dial in this case, or the parameter or feature that you are adjusting. Now, move ahead here, you have a filter. Okay, you can choose the type of filter. You can choose them also from here, okay? Going through the different category. You can do adjustment on the screen. You can change the resonance here. The drive here, which is really nice. You can also set it to produce higher resonant uh, um, um, effect. This tubular um, image allows you to switch between uh, different driving modes. Oops, uh, let's click enter there. Cut off, of course. And remember, you always have the ability to modulate here. Double click, of course, to reset it um, as default. Here you have your envelope with amplit with attack the case then release. And then you have the two LFOs here. And it's quite nice. So let's say that we apply the LFO one here to the cutoff. You can activate or not. You can bypass them here. You can choose the waveform, really nice. You go to the previous one, next one. You can also further modulate uh, the output to the LFO through the envelope by clicking here where it says EMV. Then you can adjust the speed here. You can divide and multiply it. You can adjust here, you can go by um, cycle um, per time unit or effectively by um, uh, uh, specifying the duration as well of a cycle. Here you can uh, also change the representation from uh, uh, that time unit from seconds to actually quarter note bit sync LFO. Here you can reset the phase, uh, you can introduce a delay, uh, then you can set it to, uh, if you don't have infinite on, you don't have reset on, uh, sorry, if you do have, res um, apology, if you have, uh, um, oops, uh, there you go, uh, you can adjust the, you can have a unilateral or bilateral, so positive, negative effect or not, you can uh, host it to sync there as well if you prefer if you wanted to go um resetting here host to sync like that so you have different uh, different options that you can choose and then also here you can adjust the number of or cycle that the lfo will use to uh, be um played so it, it, it's quite nice actually as um as um here we go, when you have the reset and the phase um, on, but not the infinite mode on, because otherwise it will play uh, indefinitely. You can set the number of cycles, so you can say two cycles. 
And if I go slower, you can hear. Yes, done two cycles, then it stopped, right? So remember the different combination, otherwise you, it can easily get mixed up. So if you activate infinite here, cycles is not available. If you don't have the reset in here, enable cycle is also not available. And then you can, of course, activate the uh, host sync. And uh, if you, however, click on resetting phase here, the host, uh, it will reset infinite to on, which disable the cycles. And that is why a moment ago, I was not probably as clear as I could have been. Um, but here you have then the envelope and you can uh, enable it. You can um, introduce a delay. You can make it cycle so it continues to play itself. And then you set the attack, the case sustain and the and release. So this is the envelope for the amp, of course. And then um, VCF, this is your general um, um, envelope. Okay. So if I was to say remove that one, remove this one. Let's uh, add some attack. You can hear it's coming in slowly. As a filter, we might want it to have no sustain on. Okay. So, depending on what you would like to, of course, uh, create as um, effect. You also have a, a gate here, which is nice. It acts like a gate sequencer. So you activate it here. You can set some preset as well. Reset any host to sync as well. Then you can choose the speed here. Right? So, for example, again, let's modulate against the... the Cut off. So we set this to zero. Um, gate here, we set it to maximum. Okay. Now, what we are going to do, you can set the delay in 4K uh, here, the duty, and then you can change the steps here, like so. And if you click, you can change also the type of uh, um, modulation that we'll do per step. Let's reset this down to uh, default. You can also set it here to host. And of course, the usual parameter that you have uh, um, here available. And of course, if you play here on the host, it will start to play. Right? And. Uh, Here you can change the duty, you can see the application on the different steps. Of course you have a keyboard here which you can use, you can go up and down octave, you have sustain, the modulation wheel and pitch bend. Okay, so quite, um, quite a lot. sound. Okay, I'm going to stop here. I hope you enjoyed the introduction. It's a fantastic bass synthesizer, so I definitely recommend it. Um, 2023, this is definitely my favorite bass um, synth app. See you next time. Bye.